So welcome back to the campaign. For anyone new, I play games for the storytelling and challenge, which generally means taking my time, trying to stay thematic, and avoiding exploits. If you prefer min-maxing or speeding through content, then my stuff may not be for you, although you're welcome to join us for a while to find out. In Total War Warhammer, that means using some mods to make the campaign and battle slower and harder to try to fit the brutal world of Warhammer, and also fighting all but the most lopsided battles manually. There's a link in the description to the video where I go over all the mods we're using and why. For this campaign, we're playing as Kazrak and his Beastmen Horde, with aspirations of emerging from the dark depths of the Force to tear down all the rich cities of the Empire and beyond. Okay, so pretty big victory for us last time, and Kazrak, I think it's safe to say, is now starting to feel pretty good about this war that he is waging on the Empire. If we take a look here, obviously they still have a lot of territory, but we have done some serious damage. We've kind of ransacked our way through the Empire, kind of conceded the northern part of it for now to Droika, so the northern empire is in pretty bad shape. The southern empire is in pretty bad shape due to us. And that is only the beginning because we are just going to keep pushing on. Now we can move in almost any direction at this point. We could push on down here towards Wissenberg and Dottenbach. Um, we could push eastward to Flensburg and, and beyond Averheim. We could go back up here to Kemperbad and back up to even Altdorf, and that may be what we want to do. We definitely don't want to go forever without taking Altdorf, especially considering this landmark herdstone that we could build there. And then there's still stuff over to the west as well that we could take care of. So what we're going to do, we do, um, we do need to lick our wounds a little bit. Our armies are really beat up. Obviously, Gua here. He can't move anymore anyway this turn. He is definitely going to have to, to do some recruiting. Now, this is nice because we took... Um, we took Nuln. Let me uh, hang on a second. Let me really quickly here take a look at... Okay, we, so we... We gain a bunch of levels, obviously. Nothing particularly important from world events, deaths. Yes, yes, yes. We know all this. Okay, so just wanted to get this stuff. Make sure I wasn't forgetting anything major from last time. Okay, so we took Nuln here. We have uh, a Herdstone at level 4. We can go ahead and start recruiting better units. Now, for example, we can get a Giant. A Giant is, is good. Not my favorite, but, you know, um, def definitely good. Manticore, same thing. If I, if I do okay on the micro, the Manticores are real useful. But anyway, so we know that Kazrak's already at 20, and he wants to focus on the melee infantry. So Gua is a, a good option here, I think, for the Giant and for the Manticore as well then we're going to want to probably do recruiting as soon as we can with, with Mad Gweeb here. But we may, before we do that, I think what we're going to want to do is race over here and destroy this army because I think we can reach it. I think we had discovered that last time. Yes, we can, we can just barely reach it. Now, it does ex leave us a little exposed, but... Don't think that's an issue. We have visibility from this building right here of the blood grounds around Karaburg. So we don't, we're going to want to have that same building obviously down here. And no, and I might as well do that while I'm thinking about it. And what was the secondary thing? We, we wanted this one that reduces missile damage from enemy towers and reload time and increases our ammunition. That's probably not going to be a bad choice for Nuln as well, but let me just really let me double check here. Um, yeah, actually the casualty replenishment's not too bad either, considering the damage that we're in, the state that we're in. I may actually do that. And then this is, uh, the other one is just a campaign movement range for enemies. Actually, all of them have some value, to be honest with you. Our blood grounds go down to here. I don't think there's... Like, Bissenberg... 
basically we don't have any more any more uh, walled settlements to worry about in this province of Visenland. So let's go ahead actually and do this. We'll take the casualty replenishment. That I have a feeling that may come in handy. And Maguib here, we're going to want to take him over and join this attack on there. But before we do that, we want to level everybody up. And I probably should finish what I was starting to say earlier about uh, what we want to do. We've got, we can attack in almost any direction. And what that tells me is we want to kind of attack based on opportunities that present themselves. And there will be no doubt plenty of them. We still have the, um, we have 23 enemy provinces all around us. So lots and lots to choose from. And of course, New Solland here is actually, this is Balthazar Gelt. He's actually still stronger than us. Yes. So we don't want to expose yes. ourselves unnecessarily. We don't want to take undue risks because we're doing pretty well now compared to how we were doing before. So really for the first time in the campaign, I think we're in a position where we don't really need to take much risk in the way of risks, but we also don't want to give up the, the, um, the strategic offensive, the offensive advantage, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, let's go ahead and do, uh, do our level ups here. Let's go ahead and get our hardened pelts, I suppose. Does, is giant included here? Don't, Yes, giants in there. So there he is. Yes, okay. So that'll be good. So that will suit the Manticore and the giant units that he's recruiting. We'll, we'll just basically keep doing monstrous infantry with him. I think maybe that'll be that'll be good. We do want to have some of these other abilities, but I also don't want to give up on the magic with him. So. All in due time, I suppose, and there's nothing else for him to grab there. Okay, let's go ahead and do Kazrak while we're thinking about it. Kazrak, what's, what is your hatred of men? So that's just a melee attack bonus, which is obviously still very useful. But is it what we want? We've taken everything we can take in his unique line here, except for Houndmaster which is not at all important to us right now and may never be. Uncanny Senses is not bad and Bloodlust is not bad. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Bloodlust, why not? Now, uh, Bahamu here, you are, we're, we're increasing your Purple Son of Zarius, so that's fine. You were increasing your melee defense, so that's fine. Beast Lord here, Gargantuan Hoots, what is this? Campaign movement range. Okay, so here's. Yeah, we obviously want to do that. Well, when I say obviously, I think we want to do that. And. Yeah, yeah, I can't see any reason not to do that. And then maybe, since we don't exactly know what we're going to specialize his army in, we'll just go ahead and keep him his individual stats improving. Does he have anything to use here? He does not. Okay. All right, so now we're in a position to go ahead and do this. We can reach there, and then we're going to be able to also... Put him into hidden encampment stance after this fight and be able to do some recruiting with him, I believe. And then Not likely. this guy, I can't see the rest of his army, but I just don't think that he would attack Kazrak. Just, unless we take a lot more casualties here than I think we're going to, I don't really feel like Kazrak is going to be vulnerable. I just realized I had two hero units that I probably should have moved into Mad Gweeb's army first. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and fight this. While this is loading up, I want to make the announcement that because several people asked for it, I went ahead and set up the 
full suite of mods that we're using in these A Different Way of Playing Warhammer 3 Let's Play campaign series. I went ahead and created a whatever you call the package in Steam so that anybody who's interested in using these same mods, um, you can just, uh, let's go ahead, I guess, do these guys. You can just go ahead and, uh, I think, download and apply the uh, that mod package. I will put the link to it in the description below, so hopefully that will help some folks out. And if you don't want to use the full suite, that's fine as well. I think what, what happens is you click on a button and it will... It will subscribe you to all of the mods in that suite, in the package. Okay, um, so what we want to do, let's go ahead and get these guys on in a, in a group where, and not just any group, but a locked, oops, that's not what I meant to do, yes. You guys, I want you to be three, okay, and locked, all right. So we're going to have these guys all charge in. We're going to have our our warhounds over here hitting. The Free County Militia, or Free Company Militia, excuse me, are going to be not difficult, but they're probably going to be the only thing worth... Uh, Worth, worth, worth that would slow down some of the uh, melee attacking that we're going to be doing here other than of course their their melee infantry but we're going to get our stronger units involved against them we are a little bit dinged up which is unfortunate but it is what it is okay i just want to make sure kazrak here let's get let's get a fireball off right away with you i suppose Actually, I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do I'm move them up here so the fireball. So the fireball will hit them enfilading. Maybe it'll hit more than one unit. And then we want to get you in on, on him. You, Bray Shaman, I don't want you taking much in the way of damage. You guys are fine. Let's get you on, on that. How are you doing here? You just go ahead and stay on them. Looks like we've locked up all their missile units, so that's good. Kazrak is doing is doing the chariot dance, just pushing pushing his lord around. There we go. Very good. Can we do we cannot do another fireball anytime soon? And there we go. All right, well, hard to ask for a much easier battle than that. We lost two units, two models, not two units. We do need to get some healing, obviously, but I'm pretty sure this army is going to look tough enough that... Who is it? Reichland is not going to attack us this turn. All righty. And let's take, what are we doing on Bestial Rage? We're doing okay on Bestial Rage. The replenishment would be nice if it were more than that, but it's not more than that. I almost hate to lose Bestial Rage for only 490 in, in favor, but in fact, I'm not going to. I'm going to take the replenishment, even though it's only 1%. None of the others are very appealing. They feel like a waste. Okay. And then Kazrak, can you go into... You can do raiding stance. And the only reason why I might want to do this... Because we're getting... We'd get zero money out of it. But it does give us plus ten wins of magic. And our wins of magic are just absolutely atrocious right now. So I'm going to do that. There's nothing I can do to make him invisible. So, since he's visible anyway, and since we don't think we're going to get attacked, we don't have to worry about the being winded in battle. He's not going to attack us. You guys, yeah, I really should have had, had them move into 
into here. Wasted opportunity, but that's okay. What benefit, if any, do we get out of them? They do replenish troops. So let's get one of each of these guys. Let's get one of them into his army. And let's get you into his army. Kazrak could benefit from it, but I don't want to start moving units out of his army right now. So we'll figure out whether or not we need one of those in our in Kazrak's army later. You, I did want you to go now into Hidden Encampment Stance because we want you to be able to do this. Gain some extra dread, that's good. We want you to be able to recruit. So let's go ahead and give you... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Kazrak, you can't do anything. So that does leave us with a little bit more recruitment that we can do up here. Let's go ahead and give him that guy. And I suppose, do we have any... There we go. Oh, we're up to 20 already. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I don't really remember exactly what we lost, but we'll... You know, these are chaff units, so we'll we'll replace them when the opportunity presents itself. What I am looking forward to, three more turns, is the next full moon. I really want to be able to start spending dread on gaining more of these units. And obviously I could go ahead and do so, but I'm just still kind of hoping that we'll get a 50% uh, a decrease to the cost of something worthwhile and that is just so extremely valuable it's it's definitely something that i want to do and i want to have the dread available to do it with now we could use like 500 dread to get another hero what can we do it's going to take us 2250 to be able to get the tier 5 herdstones i don't really see that as a high priority I don't see this as a high priority. Army capacity plus one would be nice, but we got three right now. We're doing okay. Yeah, all of these are worthwhile. It's just really a question of priorities and opportunity cost. Banner of Madness is, is quite nice. I like the extra 10% physical resistance, but man, I can't justify 10,000. We're just not... We're just not wealthy enough to do that right now. So Gua, let's go ahead and increase Gua here. And that'll be nice because then next chance we might be able to uh, to bump up his... What's this called? This is called a Dread Chain. So up to Impaled Corpses. Okay. I think we're in pretty good shape. I'm not going to upgrade those. I don't know whether he's going to keep attacking Karaburg. You know, they... They took a lot of damage in the last fight, but so did we. They might still see this as vulnerable, although I suspect not until at least they get more recruiting done in these armies or they get another army or two up here, which probably is not going to take real long. And then this right here, yeah, it's the one that we're not super worried about, but it's the only it's the closest one to us. Okay. Let's go ahead, I think, and just want to take a look here at our objectives. I still have to fight my quest battles at some point, obviously. And other than that, where where is Maternus Heart? He's all the way up there. Okay. I think I might sneeze. Hopefully that was far enough away from the microphone that it won't ruin this recording. And if I if I think to, I'll remove it. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit and turn. And let's see how Reichlin reacts to what was a pretty disastrous turn for him. OK, 
Okay, what are you gonna do? You're not attacking Karaburg. I didn't think you would. Moving down south, which is... It's a bold strategy. I guess you probably didn't expose yourself to Kazrak, but it looks to me like that army did. And he's in march stance, so he's just asking to get ambushed as well. This is going to be really nice because we're going to get this visibility building built in Nuln. Okay, so melee cavalry is what they want us to produce. So Nuln now has this, which means we've got more visibility to, to down here. So we can tell there are no more armies down here. It's interesting that Averheim here is not considered part of our blood grounds. It looks like it shares a border, but... Maybe because this border is non-traversable, it's not considered a part. Anyway, it is a walled city. It is something to be concerned about in the long term, but not really in the short term. Okay, so Kazrak got a little bitty bit of replenishment, not a ton. Could I? I cannot reach him. Okay, so he, he wasn't quite so stupid as to expose himself to that. What about him? Same thing. Can't reach him either. However, what we can do is put ourselves in ambush stance, and I think we'll have a really good chance of destroying this army and then pushing on to Altdorf. And I think we can probably do that with Kazrak by himself. If I move him up to here... 98%. What if I move him not quite so close? Here's 100%. Still getting some replenishment. If he keeps coming south, well, then we'll destroy him. Maybe if he comes south this way, we'll even ambush him over the end turn. If he, depending on what he does, maybe we'll ambush him over the end turn. Maybe we'll be in a position to ambush him or at least attack him our next turn. We can't reach him this turn, however. And I don't think we really have anything else to do with Kazrak right now, so let's go back to focusing on these guys. Do we need you to stay? You can't really, you don't have enough, enough population surplus to grow your horde building, but you do need to do some recruiting. So we want you to stay in hidden encampment stance in this province so that we can do some more recruiting. Let's go ahead and give you maybe a harpy unit. Obviously we're still producing the giant in the other army so we we have limits to what we can do. Let's go ahead and give you a couple of those guys, a couple of these guys, a couple of these guys. That's good enough for now. Gua. Do you want to move out? Or do we want you to continue to replenish? We do need... Well, actually, our garrison is in really good shape now. I guess the extra units that we got from, yeah, three units from that one, two units from that one, they all popped in at 100%, I guess. Okay. Um, well, we want him to stay in the province because of the bonus casualty replenishment that we're getting. Oh, we can't move him anyway because he's still recruiting that giant. So we encountered Spirits of the Forest. We'll check them out in a moment. And we gotta be really close now to finishing this. Yeah, we're at 28 out of 30. Okay, yeah, so let's go ahead and Spirits of the Forest. They hate us, of course. Everybody hates us. That's normal. Um, but they're not so terribly powerful to worry about. And you guys, Reichland's still in pretty bad yes. shape. What? Anything to do from a diplomacy standpoint doesn't look like it. Okay. Can't do anything with him. Done everything we can with him. Building upgrade. 
with Kazrak. I do obviously want to do this at some point, but 8100, I probably just never thought that it was the right priority for that much money. Let's go ahead and end this. Actually, let me really quickly take a look here. Hmm, okay. A Gorbul, to be able to recruit a Gorbul would be nice, but that's not something that we need in Kazrek's army. I think I may build the building to do that in a different army. Let's take a, a look at how expensive those are. Um, it's neither one of these, I don't think. It is... Where where is it? What's what what allows me to build? There's the Minotaurs. There's the Gorbel. It's in the basic military recruitment chain. And it's fifty four hundred. And then where's the Bray oh this is the Bray Shaman. So I can already recruit those. I just don't have yeah, okay, that's right. I just don't have any room to recruit another one. We have one Gorbel and we don't have and we have room for zero. So we're already over the limit on that. Okay, all right. None of that's a priority right now. Let's go ahead, I guess, and do another end turn here. Just take a look at Karaburg. Yeah, he's he's healing back up relatively I wouldn't say quickly, but he's doing okay. I don't I still don't see enough armies there that I have to worry about them attacking it. So Kazrak, if we destroy that army, then we can make the push on Altdorf. And that would be very nice. Very nice indeed, although we may want to be in slightly better shape with our troops before we take that on. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, in turn. Okay, Reichland, you gonna let me ambush you? You're moving. S ooh, ooh. The answer is yes. Yes, you are. Well, this ought to be pretty quick. Obviously, we could do an auto resolve, but we're not going to. Don't think this will take more than a minute or two. Yeah, Reichland is quickly running out of generals. Scraping the bottom of the barrel from the uh, the general pool. Okay, start deployment. Where are you guys even at? I don't see you. You're all the way over here. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get... The only thing you have to worry about are the fact that the Pistoliers and the Outriders can outrun all of our... melee infantry. This is unfortunate. I can't quite. Now let's put let's put you guys here. If I can. There we go. And then we'll get you guys coming from here. And then all of you on three locked. You six come from the other side. You are control group four locked. Kazrak, you're just going to charge in on Alberic there. The These guys are fine. You guys, you're damaged enough. I'm not even going to send you in. Bray Shaman, you back here as well. That's all of our units. Okay. Let's go ahead and start four, three... Kazrak, get in on him. Go ahead and launch your fireball. Get in on him. On yourself. And this ought to be over very quickly. Bray Shaman, go ahead and cast on him. He'll be dead in about two seconds. Okay, three seconds. Fine. And that's that. 
We took three losses. I would not be surprised if the losses we took were because of our own archers shooting them. It's fine. Okay. Barely any experience, not surprising. Bestial Rage is fine. 0% replenishment this time. Okay, well, I guess we kind of have no choice but to take the favor. Alright, so now he knows where we are. He's kind of running away. Don't blame him. That army that is now defending Altdorf does not really particularly worry me very much. The bigger concern when it comes to the battle for Altdorf is the garrison in the city. Okay, so got Kazarak's in good shape here. Got some nice traits. Killed yet another general. Oh, what do we get here? Chalice of Chaos. Demonic Strength. Dark Fortune. Regenerating Flesh. Well, I can't see any reason not to give that to Kazrak. Mission successful. We got a Razor Standard out of that. Brutish Overseer. Well, that's a little unfortunate, but I don't think it's going to adversely affect us too much. Lots of units recruited. Okay, we have already know about all that. And Kazrak, while I'm thinking of it, there it is. Boom! Very nice. Regenerating flesh. This is a uh, this is an activatable thing, so it's not, and it only has one use. So it's basically a healing potion. And we can only use it if leadership is... Okay, well, obviously, use it if leadership is higher than broken. The enchanted... Oh, so we no longer have our fireball. Wow. Well, then we're going to give that to Madgreeb here. Now you have a fireball that I'll forget to use more often than not. And how would you like to also have a razor standard? And Kazrak, you have room for one more ancillary. I just want to... Like basically save that for now. All right. Looking much better. I just want to see how strong we are now. We're at 62, which is still not great. We still have... We have three armies, but, you know, the armies are not loaded with great units, for sure. We could go ahead and do this, but before I do, obviously, I want to decide if we want to move out... And we probably do. We probably want to start putting some pressure. Well, there's Balthazar, and Balthazar's back up to 18 units. I kind of feel like he's a priority. I can't reach Altdorf. Never. And I also don't want to be laying siege to Altdorf while I am weakened and have an enemy, a strong enemy army at my back where they could attack us from behind. So really the priority... Well, you know what? We can reach him. So this is what we're going to do this turn. We're going to destroy this army. By Sigma, no. I don't see much of a threat out of them. Meanwhile, our settlement garrison continues to heal up, so that's nice. We could even consider leveling these up. We just don't really have the money for it. What is this? Challenges of the Dark Gods. So let's go ahead. Oh, that's right. We got... Uh, which one did we just do there? Somehow I lost track of which one we just did. We just finished. Okay. Calls fear when ambush. Yes, great. Okay. Very good. Well, since we have lots and lots of ambush battles, that's quite useful. So, you guys, Nuln is in pretty decent shape to be able to defend itself. So, you guys need to come down and start let's move them to here start threatening some of these other undefended settlements down here I suppose you can't reach this turn you would be able to reach 
next turn, even if I put you in hidden encampment stance. However, I don't see any armies around here where I'm likely to need to do the ambush, so I'm not going to. I'm going to put him into this called raiding stance and gain the extra winds of magic, which is all that's doing is actually preventing us from losing winds of magic. You, however, we're going to leave you in this province and in encampment stance for now because we need you to keep recruiting. So you can go ahead and recruit these guys. And you've got two Chaos Warhounds. You're going to have three essentially cavalry units in your army. Well, plus the Harpies, so really kind of four. The, uh, the Chaos Spawn are really fast enough to consider them to be flankers. Um, so what else do we want to do? Let's go ahead and give you another couple of these. Let's go ahead and give you another Chaos Warhound. Why not? And then up to 19. Okay. That's a, that's a decent sized army now. And we'll do Dottenbach first and then we'll do Wissenberg. We will raise them, obviously. We'll probably be able to then do the ritual in Nuln, unless something unforeseen happens. We're at 72. Our goal now is to get above 100. Lord not moved, obviously. This is going to be Kazrak. So we're going to go ahead, I think, and fight this battle with Kazrak. Don't really understand why he is leaving us, leaving his armies close enough for us to, to attack. He does have so many of them that maybe he just doesn't value them very much. And to be fair, this is really not a very valuable army. But it would feel silly to not go ahead and destroy it while we can. So let's go ahead and put Kazrak in up here. Bray Shaman behind him. You guys, go ahead and get you, let's switch things around this time. We'll get you up here, on three, you guys on four from this side, you guys behind them, you guys I guess over here. Don't know if I'll send them in right away or not. Let's go ahead and start battle. Three, four, and Kazrak, get in on him. You're already wounded, I might as well go ahead and do that. Let's get the Bray Shaman casting, the Spirit Leech on him. I'm, he is level 10, so it's going to take a minute to kill him. Let's go ahead now and get... Get the uh, Warhounds on them. Let's go ahead and get the Raiders, actually, where they can fire in on those Halberdiers, maybe. Everybody shoot those halberdiers. How are we doing? Oh, yeah, so it's going to take us a, a hot minute here to uh, to polish off his general. Let's go ahead and maybe... What's his general's leadership? Well, we don't... Actually, no, never mind. His general's... Taking significant damage now. Let's go ahead and finish it off with the spirit leech. You guys can now shoot at him until he's dead. Okay. I thought he might uh, hold up a little bit longer than that. We lost 15 models. Since he's level 10, I'm a little curious to see how much, if any, additional favor and experience we got out of that compared to the last fight. 
and I'm thinking about his campaign map strategy, I am kind of wondering if he's positioning himself just on the outside of our range, or I should say just inside our range, deliberately doing that to force us to use up enough movement that we're not able to go into hidden encampment stance. That's that's a strategy that I would expect from maybe a, a human player. I don't wouldn't really expect it from AI, but it's possible. We are using Heclius' AI overhaul, and so there's a possibility that he was somehow able to add something like that to it. I think we're gonna go ahead and take the replenishment, 2%. Every little bit helps us right now, and quite frankly, the other, the favor, and the best deal rage, were not really worth it. Okay, and he lost a level 10 general, you know, that's, you, you don't, they don't grow on trees. You don't want to just willy-nilly lose level 10 characters. Okay, I think we've already looked at almost all of this. Battle reports, okay, all right. Okay. So, Kazrak, you now, you do have a level up. You're level 20. Let's go ahead and give him... We're not really suffering from magic at this point, so I don't want to prioritize that. I th we do obviously want to take more in the blue line here, but are any of these a high priority? Income from post-battle loot is probably not a bad a bad choice. Casualty replenishment rate is certainly not a bad choice as well. Although we eat three points to equal 3%. It's not, not great. I think I'm going to continue to buff up his, his uh, individual stats for now. Make him a little bit tougher since we are sending him into the thick of the battle in every fight. Now, Karaburg... At this point, I don't. I feel like uh, like he's in really good shape. We could with Kazrak, we could push on this direction. We could push on to Altdorf. Twenty units, got an army in there. Not not the toughest army in terms of the number of units, but he's got some good troops in there. He's got two characters in there to worry about, but this is really my biggest concern, is that Balthazar Gelt could come around behind us, and I do think that's a bit much for us to take on. So what we're going to do is... Are we in Altdorf? I hope we are. Yes, we are good. We're going to raid. 900 favor. I'll take that. He can't reach us where we are, so we're just going to kind of... There wasn't much we could move anyway, so we're going to go ahead and raid for the moment. We're going to see how they react, and then we will react to that. Meanwhile, I think we do have uh, we have our next objective down here. We've done everything we can already down here. Known, not really worth upgrading anything, so... Going to ignore the building upgrade. We are going to take a look at diplomacy. I'm You're sure there's nothing we can do, however. Ready. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do another end turn here. And I think this is the end turn where we're going to get our next full moon. Wow. Didn't even get to see them move any armies. Kemperbad must be outside of, of uh, our blood grounds, so we don't have visibility to it. And it appears as though Balthazar Gelt did not move closer to us. Okay. Alright, so let's think about this. We've got... Casualty replenishment rate, which is always useful. And some other nice things that go with it, but that happens for for all of them. Okay. Campaign movement range, also very good. Beastly inclination. And all must fight. 
Dagnab, so we still are not getting any discounts on our expenditures on units with Dread. Well, I don't think we need Beastly Inclination. Campaign movement range is probably the, the one that we want to do. I have to choose now. I can't. I can't come back to it, I don't think. All right, we'll take the campaign movement range. And with it, the uh, the Lunar Eclipse. So that's giving us some extra ruination. Winds of Magic, Power, Reserve Capacity, plus 15. That's good. Income from post-battle loot. Yeah, that's all fine. Okay. For three turns. We get to move a little further for three turns. And we did recruit a me melee cab. That's great. I don't know if we'll actually recruit any more. And there's Balthus on a Okay, so Kerberg. No, Kemperbat is in the blood grounds. Somehow I just kind of lost sight of him. All right, well, it is what it is. All right, that's pretty tempting. That is pretty tempting. I think there's a really good chance the settlement garrison would come out and attack us. The question is, if it did, can we win that fight? We definitely don't have the forces to attack Altdorf directly, but we can start to lay siege wait to see if they come out and attack us and if they do come out and attack us i just want to take a look here really quickly so our sort sort of our middle of the road melee units here are 36 46 with melee attack and defense 36 46 his no great swords are lower than that his garrison Never. army here these great swords are lower than that. Hmm, okay, I'm going to think about this for a second. It's pretty tempting. That would also, you know what, before we have to even make a decision on that, we know what we can do down here. This has 16 units. They must have built the uh, defense building down here. They did. So this is going to be an unwalled settlement battle. Interesting. Well, that's fine. Um, the only question is, which army do we want to attack with? I don't see any reason not to attack with Gua. Okay, so let's... But obviously, we're going to attack with both, unless... Yeah, he can't reach, so... I was going to say, maybe we could take Wissenberg this turn, too. Wissenberg's actually the more vulnerable of the two, but that's fine. This one's closer. Okay, so let's go ahead and encircle. This is a Pyrrhic victory. Let's go ahead and give this leadership to the giant. Uh, encircle. And... We, we want you to be in... No, we don't want you to be winded. If I remember to later, I will switch him to Raiding Stance so that he can get some Winds of Magic. For that matter, I might be able to do it with Gua as well because we're not going to occupy, obviously. We're going to raise. So, all right. So we have this battle. And then... We have the decision to make up here with whether or not to attack Altdorf. However, either way, we're not actually going to be able to do it in this episode. I'm already starting to run out of time now in this episode. So let me just see, is there anything else that we want to do first? Yeah, there probably is. It's probably time to go ahead and bite the bullet and start increasing some of these because it just is taking forever let's go ahead and spend i want another best of gore herd i want more gore herd 
that takes us down to 466. That's I think that's all I want to spend for now. I don't I don't love the uh, the chariot unit, so I'm not going to worry about that. I don't really love the flying unit, so I'm not going to worry about that. I don't feel like we need more war poisonous warhounds or razor gore herds. Okay, that that's good enough. We spent some of our dread. I think that will do for now. We don't need to spend it all. So for the next episode, we're going to decide whether or not to lay siege with Altdorf. Right now, I'm leaning towards yes, we probably will. But we're going to start the episode with this minor settlement battle right here. So we're going to leave it there for this episode. And again, uh, if anybody's interested in using these mods, they are now available on Steam. Link in the description below. Thank you, as always, for watching. Thank you, as always, for your comments, and I will see you all in the next one.